Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Truth Report for this week. You will remember at the beginning of January I said that we were going to do an extended uh, time where we want to honor and exalt, lift up, glorify the name of our God. And you remember we looked at the passage that encourages this from Exodus chapter 3, verse 15. God said to Moses, say to the Israelites, the Lord... And uh, as we've said, the Lord in capital letters found in the Old Testament is always uh, the English translation of the name of our God. Now we have said, uh, and I have believed for years, the bulk of uh, scholarship that says that the name of God is Yahweh. It should be pronounced as Yahweh. But after further study, I've come to a place where I need to make a mid-course correction. And I am convinced, after some very compelling study, that the name to be pronounced properly is, should be Yehovah, the name Yehovah. And the vowel pointing on the name is what determines that. And if you look in most of your Hebrew Bibles, if you can read any Hebrew at all or find somebody that can, the pointing is just exactly that, Yehovah. And I believe that that, uh, that is the correct pronunciation, and that will be the pronunciation that we use henceforth. I'll give you more reasons for this uh, as we go along, and I'll give you the reason why I believe God has hidden that name from uh, the vast majority of humanity until now. <clears throat> but I believe the time has come. We are in the days, the latter days, I believe, prior to the coming of the Messiah, the return of the Messiah for us Christians, when that name will be elevated and exalted. Remember what he said in Exodus chapter 3, verse 15. God said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, Yehovah, Yehovah, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever, forever. This is the name by which I will be remembered from generation to generation. So that's not happened. It's not happened because, as we've noted, <clears throat> the Jewish rabbis have forbidden the Jews to use the name. And so they have translated it Adonai, which means sir or, or lord. It's a title. It's not the name. And uh, Christians, out of deference to the Jews, have translated in, in the English Bibles, you see, it throughout the Old Testament, uh, the name of God is translated Lord. Well, that's not what God intends. And uh, it's our... Uh, task, and I believe it's our privilege to be a part of those who are going to bring to the fore an increased knowledge of the name, the true name, the real name of the God of the Scriptures, Yehovah. And I say that this this is extremely important uh, for a number of reasons, but one I'll just mention today, and that's what Jesus says in Matthew chapter 23, verse 39. The whole chapter, you can read this, there's seven woes that are outlined in uh, chapter 23 of the Gospel of Matthew. And they're all against the pharisaical hypocrites. And uh, the strongest words against anybody are found by on the part of Jesus against these people. And then he closes it off by saying, in verse 37, he says, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who kill the prophets and stone those who are sent to you, how often have I longed to gather your children together as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings? But you were not willing. Look, your house is left to you desolate. Remember who he's saying this to. These are to the religious leaders of the day. The strongest condemnation that Jesus gives anybody is to these people. And then he says, I tell you this. I tell you, for you will not see me again until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of, and the English translation is the Lord. This is a quote from Psalm 118, verse 26, where it says, Blessed is he who comes in the name of, yes, you guessed it, Yehovah. And Jesus is saying that even those who are opposed to him, there's a day coming when they will say, Baruch haba b'shem Yehovah. Blessed is he who comes in the name of Jehovah. Now that is the truth. <laughs>